Alrighty guys, in today's video of Vinyl Cut, we've been looking at the cut and drawing settings for the cut settings. Let's have a quick intro here. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We have a variety of different softwares we do cover and we do upload videos daily. So um, just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, back in the program here, now, just a reminder, this is a mini series on the cut settings and uh, um, I will leave links in the description to some previous videos and videos to come. Um, yeah, for you guys that don't know, just you can navigate to your cutter paper here with a cutting and pen tool and that will open these settings. We've already covered the basics overview and also some of these top settings today we'll be looking at this column which is the cutting and drawing settings and uh, first off here we've got presets so now let's say you have um, set up all these things uniquely for a job or let's say a client or so forth then you can always hit the little plus button and it will pop up this pop-up menu to add a preset then uh, you can name it what you want. I'll just call it maybe default. Then um, then it tells you uh, the, the preset type. It's cut, so it's not a pen one, depending on what you set that setting to, but we'll cover that soon. And then what you want to save from the preset or from the settings. So, um, uh, sorry, wrong button there. If we um, just minimize this, then you can see we've got your um, older, we've got the settings for it, um, blade offset and uh, overcut and multi-cut. So now under this, we um, we can actually see um, what they are and we can choose if we want to select or deselect those settings. So for something like a, um, a default, I'll just keep all of it on and click OK. Now from the drop down menu here, you can select different presets. So let's say you've got clients, you can just put their company name or the type of work you're doing for them. And you can easily just select it every time you cut the right settings and then these settings will change accordingly. Then uh, next up here, we've got the holder. Now the holder you can also um, set up and then add a preset for that, but this will be only relevant to the holder. So for instance, we have under this, we've got blade, some basic measurements, and then we've got the pen. The pen will be zero. So under the pen here, we've got a, a few options. We've got the um, draw uh, lines, and then we've got draw, okay, draw, draw, plus cut lines. So depending on what your cutter can do and your desired effect, you can set that. And then we also have this nice little option here, prompt for pen and um, color change so what this will do is um once it's done using a certain color to color in the shape or whatever you're doing it will first pause and allow you to change the pen and then carry on if you have this selected on then uh if we go here to uh from the holder again and we select the blade so this will be for cutting then we have a few options here which will be the blade offset so um, if you look at my crosshair, um, like a pen obviously tapers to a single point at the bottom, in the center. It's kind of the origin. So that's why it does not have an offset because it's going to draw wherever this point is at the bottom. Where the blade, however, it uh, tapers to the one side. So you've got a sharp line and then a, um, like kind of in a 45 about degree line. And that is where the blade is touching. So if you... Um, you can then set your offset so depending on how far to the left or right you want your blade to actually cut so if it's not cutting nicely on the lines you can always adjust it here then uh, the overcut is also a handy tool but most of these settings is you can leave it at default unless um, you're getting problems then you can go to your manual and just uh, set it accordingly but what overcut does is um it prevent i mean let's say um you're cutting the c out or something and if your overcuts to say too low to like zero then um it uh, might not cut the shape completely through when it finally gets to the last point where it started so when you finally want to pull out that c um, laid vinyl it will still be stuck to your vinyl 
So about a one millimeter um, overcut is a good one. So it will cut over that line again, just over. Um, if a shape is very round and stuff like that, sometimes you can get away with a two millimeter. You might need it, but in general, um, a one millimeter is good. Also, just a side note on the blade offset. If it is set too low, you will get very round corners. And if it's set too high, it could create these bubbles in your corners, which is not a desired effect. So like I say, in most cases, just leave this at default. Um, if you're uh, not sure what to set them to. Then a uh, multi-cut. This one is also rather handy if you're working on, um, let's say you're working on a material that is thicker than normal. And just one cut is not cutting right through, so your vinyl is still stuck. Then you can always go down here and you can choose how many times, like maybe two times. So it will now, before it moves on to the next shape to cut, it will cut that shape twice to make sure it gets through the material. And then it will move on only to the next shape. So yeah, that is the um, uh, in-depth look on the um, cutting and drawing settings. Like I said, keep an eye on the description. We will... Um, Put some links to some other videos so you can follow along in this mini course otherwise if we head here to uh, software track uh, final cut sorry we will uh, you know you can find the program here freely available just head to the downloads page and then uh, if we navigate to software training um, you can find more training videos like this we also have a variety of softwares we do cover you can also isolate your search, looking for something specific, or if you don't find what you're looking for, just um, request a training video and we'll make that for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching and until uh, next one, cheers.